third principle here, avoid jargon. Again, it's very easy to use jargon in our communication. We have tons of examples of people doing that. Here is an example. The team is having a meeting, in our impromptu meeting, and the poor person here that you see with a tablet, they're trying to figure out the definitions of the things that people are using. And he hears terms like CPA or, or PMI or things like that, and, and they don't know what that means. And so you want to make sure that you're not using jargon in your communication. Ask yourself this, if I share this with a non-specialist, like you fill the blank what that non-specialist is, would I get it? Or do I need to be a specialist in order to get that? That's a really good test, a really good question to ask yourself. Okay, so let's go through some principles here, uh, kind of a checklist for clear communication. You can download this from, from the platform and use it. These are familiar to you. Know your audience, define the purpose of the communication, simplify your language. These are checklists. You can actually go through this and see if your communication matches this. Structure your message. Use visuals where appropriate. Engage with stories and examples. Check for clarity. Make sure that when you read your message aloud, does that make sense? Does it sound clear? Provide a clear call to action. Seek feedback, right? Maybe you test your communication on a smaller audience and then review and revise. These are some really good guidelines for you and, and kind of a checklist that you can download and use it for your communication. So this was on clarity and simplicity.